you know, they tell me that in those migrating flocks of geese, that if a, ge if a goose suffers a broken wing, some other injury, that members of that flock will stay behind to accompany that injured. It's an amazing thing. A football team will pause for the wing of a broken crow, a broken wing of a crow. I hope you noted the lyric uh, that Patty Drennan wrote there. Hannah sang, lift me up, Lord, let me catch the wind, heal my broken spirit, teach me how to fly again, make me stronger than the eagle, make me gentle as a dove, let me soar on the wings, O oh God, let me soar on the wings of your love. Now, it just seems to me that this anthem is in many ways the unsung prayer of our generation and our time. Heal my broken spirit. Teach me to fly again. A fellow named Parker Palmer has written a book. He's an American educator. But he's written a book which I find to be profound. The title of his book is Healing the Heart of Democracy. He argues that the heart of democracy in the United States of America, and we could extrapolate into Canada, he argues that the heart of the democracy in the U.S. is broken. And therefore, the politics are no longer working for the people. He argues in his book for the reinsertion into American politics of values of respect and hospitality and civility. He argues that the only institutions that can do it are the schools and the churches. The only institutions capable of healing the heart of democracy. He argues democracy pleads for healing is not what we have done and experienced in truth and reconciliation, but a plea for healing. Is not the quest for spirituality that I hear from young people and older people, that quest that wants to somehow re reject a commitment to community, but the search for spirituality, is that not a plea to let me fly again. Teach me to fly again. And you do not need to travel far in this province of ours to find neighborhoods of brokenness and communities that are broken. You do not need to travel far to find brokenness of poverty in Saskatchewan. You do not need to travel far to find the brokenness of racism. Then from our closest friends and neighbors will come the unspoken prayer, Oh, God, heal my heart. Let me soar again. We have neighbors who are in hours of special emptiness. A neighbor who will whisper, Heal my broken spirit. And who is left, I say, who is left to enter the brokenness? It must be the church. It must be be people of faith. It must be the servants of God who out of love seek to make flight easier for our neighbors. Look at, I spent 25 years in public life. I spent seven of those years in the premier's office. And in those days, I had some capacity to affect your health care. I had some capacity to affect your education. I had some capacity to affect your potholes and your pocketbooks. <laughs> I had no capacity to heal a broken heart. I had seemingly little capacity to reinstill some fundamental values into our democracy seemingly little capacity to heal the brokenness of some of our communities, communities I could take you to, 
day. I seemingly had little capacity to restore balance in Mother Earth or to heal the brokenness of racism. Where governments fail, only the communities of faith and school may achieve. So has this Saskatchewan conference a field of endeavor? Is there a field in which we may toil? Well, the answer is yes. Our servant leadership as a church, our servant leadership of this conference, our servant leadership in congregation to make flight easier for others around us and our neighbors, here is a field for our endeavor to give wings to the dreams of those who yet would dream, who would heal the wings of the broken. In lives and in society, we have a field of labor in which to go. And here, and again with no offense, in my view, we will not save Christ's church by structural change. All that our structural change must achieve is to make it easier for us to do the work of Christ's church. We will save our church and the church of Jesus Christ when we leave and enter the brokenness of our world and our communities. That's when we will be Christ's church, when we are that hospitable church that welcomes the casserole bearer and the coffin bearer. We will be that church of Christ when we sit on the rink board and the church board. We will be the church of Christ when we join the picket line and write the letter. We will be the church of Christ when we kneel in prayer and sing the hymn that stirs our heart. That's when we will be the church of Christ. We need that structure that lets us do that, that supports the ministry of doing that. There's a field of labor out there, a broken world that seeks someone, somebody, something to heal the brokenness, to lift the wing, to offer the hospitality, to give place in which our young may dream their dreams and achieve them, a place where we may put wings under their dreams, and a place where I can die still dreaming. It is by entering the brokenness of our world and the world around us that we will grow strong and we will become attractive to others. And we will be the Church of Christ. We came to this conference just days after Pentecost. And on Pentecost Sunday morning at Zion United Church in Moose Jaw, I thought to myself, when you read that passage in the book of Acts, what does it tell you? It tells you the believers were all gathered in one house. Now, there weren't very many of them. They were all in one house. They weren't like in a big church like Zion. They weren't this kind of a crowd. A few believers in a house. And that spirit of God filled that place in such a way that the brokenness between them was gone. And they could speak to each other in their own languages. And they went driven by the wind in that house out into the world. And they changed the world. It is Pentecost. It is spirit among us. It is that spirit who gives us the wings. It's just as simple as that. So, friends, we just got to pray. We just got to pray that she will fly among us again. That we just need to pray that this spirit will come sailing on the wind into this Lanigan and into every little home and every little congregation from which we come. We ought to just pray that this spirit, that she will be among us Give us wings. Gordon Light wrote the hymn.
Tannis will have a spell. She flies on. Make no mistake about it. And it's beautiful to note that this hymn is sung around the world in many languages. Sailing on the wind, her wings flashing in the sun. On a journey just begun, she flies on. And in the passage of her flight, her song rings out through the night. On the morning of our birth, like an empty cradle waiting to be filled. And from the heart of God, the Spirit moved upon the earth, like a mother breathing life into her child. Many were the dreams. Whose eyes were given sight when the Spirit filled their dreams with life and hope. Deserts turned to gardens, broken hearts found new delight, and then down the ages still she flew on. She comes sailing on. Flashing in the sun on a journey just begun, she flies on, and in the passage of her flight, her song rings out through the night. She waited, circling high, above the child now grown so full of grace. As he rose up from the water, she swept down from the sky, and she carried him away in her embrace. Long after the deep darkness, that fell upon the world after dawn returned in flame of rising sun. The spirit touched the earth again, again her wings unfurled, bringing life in wind and far as she flew on. She comes sailing on. Flashing in the sun on a journey just begun, she flies on, and in the passage of her flight, her song rings out through the night, full of laughter, full of light. She flies on. Well, I'm going to ask for honesty. Um, if you're 60 years of age or older, put up your hand. Then there's a chance, there's a chance you might recognize my next little illustration to bring us to a close. I don't expect many in the room would recognize the name of Bob Ferguson. Bob Ferguson uh, came from Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee, where Bob Ferguson was a country music writer. Bob Ferguson penned a little gospel song uh, that was recorded uh, first, a big hit by Ferlin Husky. Then Marty Robbins did it, and Jim Reeves did it, and Johnny Cash has done it, and Dolly Parton's done it, and Hal Ketchum did it not so long ago. Charlie Pride does it. Charlie's coming. 
go and listen to the singer. A little gospel song he wrote about the baptism of Jesus. And he wrote, On the wings of a snow-white dove, God sends a pure, sweet love, a sign from above, on the wings of a dove. Brad Woodridge could sing this song. We're in Saskatchewan Conference, each of us, because of roots in the faith, that bit of tarragana that's in us and holds on to us and will not let us go and brings us here. In Saskatchewan Conference, we celebrate these roots. We celebrate the traditions of this conference. We celebrate our roots in this prairie. We are uniting and we are united. We are pioneering and we are progressive. We are justice seeking. We are community building and we are hospitable. We struggle to know where the pruning must occur. We hear the need to support our servant leaders in ministry. We hear the call to raise up a whole new generation. And more than this, we know that we live in a world that seeks healing with hearts seeking to be lifted. And to them, our church is called. But we know something else as well. We know our own limitations, and we own our own weariness, and we know there are troubles around us, and we know there is uncertainty. Some have come to this conference with great uncertainty about the very future of the congregation to which they attend, deeply worried. We've got servant leaders in this, in this council in this court, who are bearing heavy stress. At St. Andrews College, we wonder about the future of the college. We wonder what, after this general council, will our church look like? What will ministry look like? What will theological education look like? There's all sorts of troubles. There's all sorts of uncertainties all around us. And so in this moment, I believe there are only two things that remain. One, we are all afloat on a stormy sea and we owe each other a terrible loyalty. And two, when troubles surround us, when evils come and the body grows weak and the spirit grows numb, when these things beset us, God does not forget us God sends down a love on the wings of a dove. On the wings of a snow white dove, God sends a pure, sweet love, a sign from above on the wings of a dove. And if you ever forget it, you just look at that United Church of Canada crest of ours. And you will see the bush of our roots, and you will see a snow-white dove. I want to finish with one other story. From the book of Exodus, a story of which I hinted, this little band of refugees Little band of refugees. You know, forget Charlton Heston. Just forget Charlton Heston. And imagine this little bunch of ragtag slaves. I bet there weren't near as many of them as are in this room. This little group of ragtag slave refugees seeking liberty from an oppressive regime called by God to migrate and build a new world. There they are. The mud in front of them, the mountains beside them, the chariot Pharaoh, the chariots of Pharaoh coming right behind them. They say to Moses, what the hell did you bring us here for? 
why don't we just pack it up and go back to the flesh pots of Egypt? Exodus 14, 15. Carve this into your psyche. Exodus 14, 15. The Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out for help? You just tell those people to go forward. Go into your future with confidence. Go into your future with the with the roots that sustain us. Go into your future with the wings of a snow white dove. For you who dwell in the shelter of the Lord, you who abide in his shadow for life, God will raise you up. God will raise you up on eagle's wings. God will bury you on the breath of dawn. God will make you shine like the sun and hold you in the palm of God's hand. Your wings. And to this may all God's people say, Amen. not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Though thousands fall about you, near you it shall not come. And I will angels is given a command to guard you in all 